Science and technology create inventions to make things easier, more convenient, and save time. Innovation and invention of new technology enable things better and help to refine the existing ones. Life without technology would be unimaginable in modern days, as technology is everywhere around us, right from handheld gadgets to reality technologies, robotics, and many more. AR and VR stand first to occupy most aspects among the vast empire of reality technologies. With a warm welcome, Let's get into the video. In the last few decades, the rise in technology has been at its peak in information and IT. Technologies including cloud computing, machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning, big data and many more have occupied most aspects of our lives and one such technology is AR and VR. As a part of today's schedule, we will be looking on what is VR and AR technology followed by its real-world applications? We then head towards the vital part of this module which is VR versus AR and further with its advantages and disadvantages. At the end, we have its real-world implementation in modern days. First, we will be looking at what VR technology is. VR stands for Virtual Reality where users immerse themselves in a specifically designed or simulated environment for a specific purpose. For example, medical training, games, etc. are explored without borders and boundaries in 360 degrees. Now let's look at the applications of VR. In education, conducting academic activities like field trips, visit to museums and historical eras is now easy via VR to conduct virtuality with no change in common factors. Towards healthcare analysis and research on medical terms, VR has made medicine practitioners enter the next level to avoid direct contact with harmful substances and hazardous risk factors. Real-time experience of fictional characters or sci-fi movies, animations and motions can be experienced by all with the use of VR in the field of entertainment. Prototyping cars help the automotive industry to avoid multiple designs and reduce resources to maximum via virtual designs via VR. In terms of defense, use of VR helps our brave men to experience the battlefield environments in real time to avoid unconditional situations in reality. Towards marketing, VR promotes products where consumers can look and feel the product in real time via a 360 degree view, which helps in better marketing. Now we can move towards AR. AR stands for Augmented Reality which adds digital content in a real physical world without any difference in overall aspects of the content. For example, consider adding a sofa in a small space where you can place a digital sofa in the same space to check the look and feel without any difference in its position, placement, etc. As we have discussed VR and its applications, now we'll move towards the applications of AR. Unlike VR, AR has its applicative fields. Use of AR glasses. Combining virtual information with real world senses with no change in overall aspects to experience the liveliness of objects and entities. Its use in medical systems for medical imaging helps analyze diseases with precise information without any need of sample traces of it. In the field of entertainment, AR augments the entertainment industry with its eye gazing filters right from Instagram, Snapchat and many more. In terms of tourism, AR-based travel apps help explore destinations. For example, Google Maps which provides precise information with available nearest spots with necessary goods and services. AR-based apps like Google Earth provide search capabilities in the three-dimensional view enhancing as an upgrade towards education. It helps professionals visualize their final products without developing them or producing them with the concept of try and use or prototyping towards designing and modeling. So far, as we have discussed VR and AR technologies and their applications now, we'll move towards the most important part of the module, which is VR versus AR. In the comparison of VR and AR, at first, VR is completely virtual with its environment, while AR uses real-world entities like a combination of both virtual and real elements. Next. VR users are controlled by the system as the syncing of the environment plays a major role in real time, 
whereas AI users can control their presence in the real world. VR requires compatible devices like a headset device, where AR is accessible right from your smartphone. VR only enhances a fictional reality as it is composed of a specifically designed environment, whereas AR enhances both virtual and real-world environments. To move on to the advantages and disadvantages of VR and AR technology. When it comes to AR, AR is more advantageous as educating oneself with real hands-on experience increases user knowledge the same way as AR is everywhere today from Google Maps to simulation games, increasing knowledge and user experience. Sharing knowledge and experience without the physical hindrances like distance, a physical element presence, etc. AR is an inexpensive alternative to other media platforms where AR effects are a combined part of most social media apps from Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, etc. To talk about VR, Virtual reality in every field makes the process easy and comfortable. Example, medical training eliminates the need for a natural element. With VR, users can experiment with artificial environments, eliminating boundaries and the need for an actual workspace. VR is composed of a specifically designed environment to avoid misuse of users' information, avoid data loss, and maintain their privacy. To talk about the disadvantages, First, we'll have a look at AR. AR is quite expensive, making it less accessible in use. It can lead to use in inappropriate situations, causing harm as it's quite common to access right from a smartphone. AR technology is not equipped with security policies. Intruders can hack AR-based devices and manipulate them according to their needs. In terms of VR, any technology in its early stages makes it feel not easy. And the same is the case with VR. Due to its rapid growth, programmers find it difficult and search for ways to interact with virtual environments. Maximum use of VR makes one addicted to living in the virtual world instead of the real one. VR software also takes up a lot of space and requires a lot of computing power compared to other devices. Let's take up a question. So far we are discussing AR and VR technology. But are AR and VR booming the industry? The answer is no. In addition to AR and VR, there exist other reality technologies like MR, which stand for Mixed Reality and XR, so which is known as Extended Reality, which exist in the modern world. For a better understanding, let's look at what Mixed Reality is. Mixed Reality takes all these user experiences to the next level with a combination of holographic models and real-world scenarios. Moving ahead towards XR or Extended Reality is the combination of all reality technologies including of AR, VR and MR. For example, a mobile chipset both to track your health and power graphics for gaming. So far we have discussed AR and VR technologies and their applications. Now we'll move towards its implementation. Are companies using and hiring AR and VR? The answer is obviously yes. These technologies are a part of our daily lives included as a part of social media, artificial intelligence, companies like Microsoft, the hologram environment can be used with HoloLens to project to display information. They can also help blend with the real world or even simulate virtual objects. Google uses AR in its products like Google Maps, Google Lens and many more to simulate search results. BMW, Volkswagen and Mercedes-Benz. These automotive industries use AR featuring fully automated cars which are controlled via gestures and voice control. We have now reached the end of this module. In today's module, we have discussed the need for reality technologies, including AR and VR technology, the applications, and a comparison of VR and AR. As time evolves, the need for new technologies and their use and growth increases, but we should choose the right one that suits our needs in all aspects, leaving no harm and increasing knowledge and productivity. I hope you enjoyed this video. Questions, suggestions and feedback are welcome in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel Simply Learn and please do hit the bell icon for instant notifications on more exciting and informative videos.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.